the last time you purchased bleach wipes? When was the last time you saw bleach wipes in the store? It's been a while. Today I'm going to give you an easy alternative to bleach wipes or disinfectant wipes. These wipes are hard to find and high in need as we're reverting back to washing our hands more frequently and using wipes to keep frequently touched items cleaner. Welcome to the ordered home. My name is Jill and I'm glad you're here. So I, have, so I have this great efficient recipe using washcloths. So they're low waste, no paper towels needed, and they're easy to make and ready to go. But before we begin, if you like this video, subscribe below and click the notification button to know when I've uploaded another video, because I'd love to see you again. So we just need a few items and ingredients to get started. One is a glass jar. I got this one at Target for under $10. I believe you can also get it on Amazon as well. Make sure it has a lid and make sure it's glass because some alcohol and bleach substances, etc., can react with the plastic that you use. I have these white washcloths. This one's a little warm, but I get these at Target and they're like 10 in a pack. They're fairly inexpensive. I've been getting them for a long time. I use them as wash rags and I switch them out daily. And then what I do is at the end of the week, I have a full load that I put into a small wash with hot water and bleach. Just disinfects them really nice. And I don't have to worry about the sponge issue and the germ issue. So some of these tend to get a little older it, over time. And I take them and I cut them. Take my fabric scissors, cut them into fours or cut them into twos. Now you can take these cut edges and put them in a sewing machine and zigzag them so they don't fray. But aside from that, after you're running them through and washing them, they just fray a little and I'll just clean them up, clean the ends up real quick. These wipes, wipe down door handles, keyboards, light switches, counters. I always take an extra one of these and wipe my counters really nice once in a while on top of my regular cleaning just to make sure and get kill extra germs. Um, I have someone that comes over that's sensitive to gluten. I pull these out, wipe everything down really well just to make sure there's no extra gluten anywhere in the kitchen. So only four basic ingredients, distilled water. A lot of people say distilled water is boiled water. They'll just boil water, let it cool. That's not exactly distilled water. Distilled water is actually a vapor and it's condensation that is recaptured. It's really important that you buy distilled water. And it's only like a dollar a gallon. Now, two cups. One cup of isopropyl alcohol. You can do a bleach solution or you can do an isopropyl alcohol solution. It has to be either 70% or higher. The higher the percentage, the quicker it will evaporate and does tend to dry skin items, etc. So I do use the 70, I feel it is appropriate. Uh, the CDC recommends either bleach solution or isopropyl alcohol solution. The isopropyl alcohol solution only needs 30 seconds to dry, whereas the bleach solution needs five minutes to dry in order to guarantee the disinfectant properties. I one time or always for the five minutes, sounds impatient, but at the same time, I'm a little clumsy and I don't want to bleach my clothes, even though I'm wearing an old shirt today. I just, I'm not the best with bleach and I get little marks everywhere. So for me, it's just safer to use isopropyl alcohol and everybody's happy. So this recipe calls for one cup of the isopropyl alcohol. We're gonna do a tablespoon of dish soap. I just happen to be using the basic dish. I just happen to be using the basic dish soap that I use in my kitchen. The recipe calls for about 10 to 20 drops of essential oils. I use a lemon, so it just keeps it basic lemon, a bit more, a little bit more. It isn't really gonna hurt you if you do more than 20, but 
I just kind of shake it in there. Probably about 20. And mix that together. We're going to pour this in our jar. See how easy that was? So, after you have this put together, just take your rags and you drop them in. And these are ready for you to pull out, wipe items down, do an extra clean. I just make sure that I turn these and that all of them soak up the solution that we've prepared. Pull them out, ready for use. The other thing I want to strongly recommend before you go down this road in this project is to make sure that your lid is very wide on top. Hey, do me a favor. Will you grab one of those for me? Sure. Oh, that's great. Hold up your hand. Okay. So, long as your kids and your husband can get in there, no excuse, right? They can help out. Thank you. Welcome. Again, keyboards, desks, counters, door handles, even just door panels from doors. You know the kids are swinging shut. Hands are everywhere. So these come in real handy. I know that they're also good for wiping down groceries or stuff you're bringing in from the public if you feel that you need to have that type of system in your home with everything that's going on. But these are even good just to have at all times. So let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear what common cleaning item that you use all the time or frequently. It'd be something like this, so if it's a bleach wipe. Thank you for your time. Let me know if you like this video with a thumbs up and set the notifications so you'll be told when I upload another video. And I will see you soon. Make your day a happy one. I hope you find order, peace, and love.